Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of antenna and propagation. In today's class, we are going to learn about beam area. Okay. So actually, what is a beam area? So let's uh, read it out first. So the beam area is denoted by omega a, which is the solid angle through which all the power is radiated by the antenna. It would be streaming if p of theta comma phi, that is power of theta comma phi is maintained its maximum value over a beam area. Okay. And if not, it will be zero elsewhere. Okay. So we already know the uh, propagation of radiation pattern of the signal propagation, right? Okay. So uh, tell how much area the radiation is propagated. That whole area can be considered as the um, beam area and it is donated by the omega a. Okay. And as soon as the power gets radiated throughout that particular area. That power is considered with respect to P of theta comma phi. Okay, where theta is the angle uh, made by the antenna and the phi is the phase difference of the signals. Okay, so so whatever the power is distributed among that radiated pattern over that particular area, that is considered as that power can be maintained as the maximum value. Okay, if at all there is no propagation of the signal, the power will be zero. Okay, so uh, the radiated energy through an antenna with respect to power, okay, can also be considered as P of theta comma phi, okay, uh, omega a with respect to watts units, where omega a is nothing but the beam area, okay. So whenever a signal covers the whole area up to a particular area, along with that, the power also gets radiated with respect to two parameters. One is theta, the angle of the antenna and the phi, the phase difference between the waves, okay. So, and it can also be uh, uh, described in such a way that the beam area of an antenna can of, often be described as approximately in terms of the angle suspended, okay, uh, like I have already said, right, okay, angle suspended or the subtended by the half power point, okay, uh, of the main lobe in the two principal planes. Suppose, let me draw the overall radiation pattern. Let us assume this is an axis. This is x axis, this is y axis, and this is z axis. Okay. So let us assume this is a maximum lobe. Okay. That means the energy is radiated. Okay. Within the direction of y axis. So this whole maximum or the major lobe is taken into half, considered into half, and this half is considered as the half power beam width or the half power point, and the remaining half is considered as another half power point. Okay, so in a main lobe, there will be two half power points with respect to the two principal planes. So, therefore, the whole beam area can be. Uh, considered as the uh, half power, uh, two half power uh, points or half power beam width with respect to theta as well as uh, phi. Okay. So if you consider this particular circular area where the energy is getting uh, distributed, okay. So major lobe is subdivided into two half power um, point or uh, half power uh, beam, beam widths, okay, in a particular single major lobe and it can be considered with respect to theta hp half power and the phi hp in a whole uh, circular plane okay this is how it is considered okay so beam area is nothing but the area in which the uh, signal has been radiated with respect to power and power in terms of theta and the phi which is nothing but the angle as well as the phases of the signal okay so p of theta comma phi with respect to uh, omega a with uh, in watts units. Now, so theta hp as well as phi hp is the half power beam width. So I have already explained that right? half of the, uh, the beam widths. Okay, so uh, where uh, these are considered and the remaining lobes. What are the small lobes are there? We call them as side lobes, minor lobes or back lobes. All this can be 
neglected okay so beam area is nothing but the uh, radiation pattern okay how long the signal has been distributed that is considered and one major lobe can be considered with respect to half power beam width where uh, the power can also be considered with respect to p of theta hp as well as pi of theta hp okay where angle and phases are taken into consideration in the beam area okay mm -hmm.